What's going on everyone, my name is Tom from Dreadlabs and today we're going to create some Beyblades. Dreadlabs. Uh, so I was browsing Pinterest the other day and I came across a hype that was really like occupying my school when I was a kid. And I completely forgot about it until, uh, well, I saw this. Um, so m most of y'all probably will know Beyblade and I thought the aesthetic just looks really cool. Um, so I thought it might be fun to do a video where we try to recreate some of the shapes that we see here in Illustrator and see if we can recreate some cool artworks uh, inspired by these uh, cool little spinners, I guess. So let's just get started. Alright, so to make everything clear, I want everything to revolve around like the middle point here. So let's just make a circle. And... I'm gonna make my artboard 3000 by 3000 because that's where you usually work in in terms of doing artwork. So let's just grab both of these and scale them accordingly. All right, and so let's lock these up and start with some of these shapes. So I realize that most of these are done within triples. So I guess that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so let's pick a color. Let's go with the blue and try to, I guess, make a shape. And I think the main important thing here is that we, I don't know, let's just do a drop shadow or something so that we can see the difference between all the shapes that we make. So, all right, let's go to here, go to stylize and click the drop shadow. And we probably won't be able to see this because our background is black, but if we remove that, yeah, I can kind of see where it's going. Uh, and this will probably be more apparent once we actually have multiple shapes in here. So... Let's just do another one. I'm gonna do it like under here. You know what, we're gonna remove the drop shadow for now. And we're gonna just add a stroke. A black stroke so that we can see what's in top what's on top here and what's not uh, increase that stroke by yeah this should be good cool uh, well then let's see what happens if we rotate these so I'm holding alder option and clicking on center here and then gonna uh, type in 360 degrees divided by 3 and make a copy and do it one more time by pressing, pressing Command D. And now we have a first like base of the shape here. Let's just go with like a greenish outer color, I guess. And I want these to be a little bit more curved. So perhaps like this. And we're gonna go and put them to the back here. And make the fill color, like I said, a little bit more greenish, I guess. Let's just firstly lock these up on the top. And let's just go with like a little opening here. Make sure that all the edges are sharp. Oh. And we're gonna need another anchor point in here. So let's just go and click the plus icon here. You can drag this one over here and make sure that these don't clash as much. So this will be a little bit more smooth. And do the same with these ones here. Don't want them to clash. All right. And let's these put to the uh, and let's put this to the back as well, and perhaps let's just put a little gem in here with the same color. All right, now let's grab the both of these, or grab the three of these, and then do the same thing we did earlier. So holding all the option while clicking in the rotate tool, and copying this, like this. Okay, and so it's starting to look a little bit more like a triangle now. So I want to kind of make sure that we don't do that so let's just grab another color here and make sure this part's rounded as well 
and I'm gonna do this one a little bit differently. I guess I want to combine both like rounded and uh, hard edge shapes. So, and now we can soften up this edge, and perhaps we can do remove like a an ellipse on this side. And I feel like we should soften this one up now too, but what happens if we just do it like this? And I just add an anchor point. I'm just winging this by the way guys. It's uh, I didn't really plan this one ahead. Alright, and now I just go with one more and I feel like we should do something like this. And if we press Shift C on our keyboard, we can change around these. And we can create a curve on a straight line here, which is kind of what we want. Yeah, something like this should be fine. Maybe we're rotating it a little bit so it's not really directly under this one. Maybe. Yeah, just a little bit to the side. Just one more like claw thing. It goes like this. All right, now we're gonna group these as well. And rotating them the same way. So 120 degrees and copying it. Okay, so the outer circle is kind of done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and grab Dread Shapes Volume 2, an unreleased Dreadlabs package, and there is one shape that I kind of want to add into this. Ah, here it is. Couldn't find it. Alright, let's paste this in. Center it. And I'm going to remove the inner circle. So this will be like a full shape. Like this. I'm gonna make it blue and I think I want to go and put it on top here but I want to make it a little bit more cyan all right so now the middle parts are like kind of symmetrical so let's just try and do like a symmetrical shape on top of here and I actually want to remove this to the back like this firstly I want to go and lower the opacity a little bit <clears throat> and then lock them like this. Okay, so now we can freely draw anything symmetrical in here. Uh, so let me just go and try to draw something <clears throat> on one side and then we're just gonna mirror it. I wanna make sure that my edge here is exactly on the middle line, like this. And with my width tool, I want to start expanding these shapes a little bit. And I'm going to outline the stroke later. Alright, so this kind of looks cool, but let's just scale it down. And the way I want to do this is... Let's just color this one in um, with this yellow. Oh, so if this happens to you, what, I, what just happened to me, just uh, hold shift while you're uh, using the eyedropper tool. Okay. Now for the like larger blades that go down, let's just go like this. And let's make these red. And with the width tool, make it a little bit bigger. Make sure it's at zero at the end point. And I want to show you a cool trick. Well, it's not really a cool trick. It's just something that I want to do now. <laughs> All right, so now we have this. Yeah, 
And then some tribal shapes on the bottom here. Um, All right, so with this part here, and I just cut this part out with an ellipse. Like this, and then there's something going on top of here. Because this looks kind of weird. Okay, so now we have this triangle. Let's go with Shift C and make this a curve. As well as this edge. And then I want a an ellipse to cut out this part here and actually let me bring back that ellipse and cut both of these shapes out like this and let's, ex let's expand these by going to path outline stroke I have a shortcut that uh, uh, just lets me press command 1 All right, so these shapes are kind of there, but the scale is not really doing it for me. So what I want to do is I want to go and put these on top of one another and see what looks better. Uh, so for example, this one could be a little bit more like this. And this one should all the way be all the way to the back like so. Okay, so I just move them all a little bit over to this side and let's just see what happens if we mirror them. So, okay, now we have both of these. Let's uh, go to the Shape Builder tool. Remove these edges and link this up. And let's do the same with all the other shapes. All right, I feel like this shape should be cool enough to kind of work with. Let me see if we can put something in the center here uh, to like put on top of it. So going back to this one, maybe go with this one. Center it. And then yeah, like this maybe. Wait, no. Should be on top of everything and then perhaps like a little white. And then we can unlock this other layer again. We can remove this center uh, line and put the opacity back to 100%. And as you can see, this is kind of a big mess, but this is what we came up with. Um, what I wanted to try out in the next video is try and see if we can do something cool along the lines of uh, putting some chrome effects on this, some bevel and emboss to make it a little bit more 3D, 3D dimensional uh, and see where to go from there. So yeah guys, thank you for watching and if you have any suggestions for tutorials, please leave them in the comments or join us on Discord. And I also want to take this time to thank my patrons for the amazing support they've given me. Uh, if you don't know, uh, Dreadlabs is still a one-man army and having patrons really helps me uh, being able to do this full-time, creating more videos for you guys, more tutorials, more um, products. So if you become a patron, uh, you'll get a 15% discount in the webshop of Dreadlabs, as well as access to all of the project files that I do in my tutorials, um, and some Discord privileges even. So... Um, yeah, please consider becoming a patron and uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.